Hey everybody, it's Evan. I'm your host and I'm here with Sam. And today we're going to be getting into uploading files to IPFS. Um, this is natively integrated in a Tatum. It's super simple. Uh, it's also free. So your NFT storage uh, will be free. Uh, you can store all of your metadata using our API endpoints, but there are a couple of steps you need to follow. So we're going to tell you exactly how to do it right now. Um, so the basic idea is you need to upload your data, your metadata, whether that's a picture, a video, um, an audio file, or whatever it is, whatever is going to be connected to the NFT, to IPFS uh, using our API endpoint. Then you need to create a JSON scheme which references that uploaded file. Then you need to upload the JSON scheme um, to IPFS. And that is what you will connect to your NFT when you mint it. So Sam's going to show you how to do it. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, let's get into it. Thank you, Ivan. Hey, guys. So uh, as Ivan said, today we are going to show you how to work with IPFS and NFTs. So what's important for uh, every NFT is the metadata, which are uh, uniquely describing what the NFT actually represents. It could be image, it could be video, it could be audio, it could be whatever you want. You just need to include this data somehow to the NFT, to the blockchain. How is that done? Most of the projects are currently using IPFS as a decentralized storage on the, uh, on the blockchain uh, where you actually store your content. It could be image or whatever, whatever else. And uh, this content is uh, pinned to another file stored on IPFS, which is the metadata metadata file. This file is in JSON. It has some, some standard format, which uh, all of the NFT, NFTs uh, support right now. And uh, this, meta, this link to the metadata file you are storing in the IPFS is actually the one you are attaching to the NFT. So there is multiple, let's say, hops there. NFT points to the metadata JSON, and metadata JSON points to a content you are actually attaching to the NFT. So there are two steps in this hierarchy. So let's let's sh let's just do it. Let's let's do the let's do the upload of, of the image, and let's do upload of the metadata and mint the token with that. So today we are again using Postman and we have very handy endpoint for storing the IPFS data to the, for storing any, any data to the IPFS. The only difference between this API call and all other API calls on our platform is that this API call is not, uh, doesn't support the JSON format. This is the multi-part form data and uh, it has a little bit different behavior than all other calls. So be, be aware that you need to in Postman use the form data uh, content type, not the application JSON. And in the form data, the, the request accept one key, which is the file. So right now you can select any file you want to upload. Let's say, for example, this nice Tatum logo. And this will be the content we are storing in the IPFS and we will attach it to the NFT. So let's choose this logo and let's upload it to the, to the IPFS. The result of the, of the call is IPS, I, IPFS hash, which is the unique identifier of this image in the IPFS network. So anyone who can, who can uh, list the data in the IPFS will be able to fetch this logo. You can see that we are using the, the URL encoding here and uh, because the IPFS has some structure internally, but what's actually important is this, is this hash. So this is the first step. This is the step where you upload your content to the IPFS and you have the link from it. Right now, you need to put this, uh, this IPFS logo we, are, we have stored to the metadata JSON file, which we upload in the next step. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create this file right now with you. Super basic and, and super minimal setup for your JSON scheme, 
uh, is these three are these three fields: name, description, and the image. The name should be the name of your NFT. For example, Tatum logo NFT. You can add any arbitrary description. This is my description. And finally, there is image, which uh, could be confusing because image could actually point to the video or audio or whatever. But from for compatibility reasons with the previous versions and everything, the image is actually used as the primary source of your content for the IPFS. So in this image, we are going to put our IPFS identifier of the image we have uploaded. To specify that we are using IPFS for any client in the future, for your MetaMask, for any for OpenSea or any other or any other uh, marketplace, there you should prefix your IPFS identifier with IPFS with the IPFS stuff. So instead of putting the whole, instead of putting the only the identifier, just prepend it with the IPFS. And that's it. You can actually create your JSON scheme like this. This will uniquely describe your NFT. Let's save this file. Let's call it the scheme JSON. And right now, Another call to the IPFS will be for storing the scheme to the IPFS. So let's find it. It's here. I can see it now. So we are uploading our IPFS metadata JSON to the IPFS. And we, as a result, we obtained another IPFS identifier. But this one is the one which should be put into our mint NFT API call. So let's mint new AP, uh, new token on Polygon, and this URL inside the inside the API call should again point to our metadata JSON scheme uploaded in the IPFS. So let's mint it. The result is transaction ID. We can check it on, uh, on the Explorer. We can see that the token was minted. We can't see right now the URL the token was minted with. But if we, if we log into the OpenSea, import our collection and, and display this token, this unique token we have minted, we would actually see the image fetched from the IPFS automatically. If you want to read the data from the IPFS, we have the get endpoint as well. So we can actually grab the IPFS identifier and we can call get data and read the data, read the JSON scheme from the IPFS and the result should be the metadata JSON. The get could be a little bit slower. It depends on the on how fast the IPFS actually uh, syncs internally between the nodes, the data. So it could take a little bit more time. So we can get the data from the IPFS. We hit the send, and we see the we see the JSON scheme we have uploaded there. That's it, guys. Thanks a lot. So that's all there is to it. So that's how you upload your data to IPFS. Um, again, it is free through our partnership with nft.storage using Tatum, just two API endpoints, and you can do it. Um, so we're going to link to everything in the description below, along with our guide on how to build NFT marketplaces and work with IPFS data. Um, so you'll find everything. Take a look down there. And uh, until next time, happy coding and see you in the future. Bye-bye.